Britain in the late 70s it was a troubled country to say the least. When 2000 AD came out, it was the biggest hit comics had had for a very long time. We were this gang of reprobates drop right down in the middle of this totally conservative comic group. What 2000 AD did was just kick it in the face. We were the lunatics who had taken over the asylum. People thought, because we were a science fiction comic, we were going to be rather nice and middle class, and boy, were they in for a shock. All my craziness I was actually getting from 2018. People tend to think of comics as being very kind of throwaway entertainment, but this was some deep political stuff. It was talking to kids and turning us all into a generation of anarchists. You've just got exit wounds all over the page. Comics have got a terrible history for treating people really badly. Hang on, you mean I don't own any of this at all? Robocop, stolen dread, outrageously. Sylvester Stallone and Dread is the worst idea ever. I was determined to present something that was authentic and, and true in spirit. The rest of popular culture is caught up with what 2000 AD was doing 30 years ago. 2000 AD has probably on some level influenced everything I've ever written. British comic landscape now would be a wasteland without 2018. It's the Sex Pistols being signed to the major label kind of thing. It's still getting away with it. It can be considered a, a, a British success story. Anyone can make a comic. There's only one 2018.